call Halayim Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakar Padash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone and rule well. Salutations unto the elect Akim that are enduring with all long suffering and with sound doctrine. So, uh, you know, I, I want to get into this lesson real quick. Uh, it's going to be an impromptu, you know, as you can hear in the background, I'm outside in the, um, in the wind, you know, just just going for a walk, and the Spirit got appointed me to come up with this lesson. Um, and I'm going to entitle it based off of the scripture, Second Ezra 14 and 15. It says, and set, us, uh, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, all right, um, in haste to flee from these times. Okay, so the reason why I want to get into that is because in this, in this um, captivity, this hellhole that we're a part of, you know, we had to, we're, we're still in this flesh. You know, we still have to deal with, uh, we have to deal with family, we have to deal with co-workers, we have to deal with evil people. You know, we have to deal with our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Israelites. We have to deal with them being, um, being grievous to our spirit by being, um, being corruptible. Okay, being evil, being wicked. All right, we have to deal with all, all manner of. We have to deal with the devil being, um, the devil, aka the servant, aka Esau, aka the white man. All right, we have to deal with him being above us. All right, but if we let these things, you know, what I'm saying that's why I said set, set, um, set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, man. All right, we have to, we got to fight through this shit, man. You know. It says in, in the book of Revelation, uh, bless the man that overcome it, he shall inherit all things. So you, if, if you overcome the evil, if you overcome um, two-thirds, you overcome the wicked, you should be all right, man. All right? Your, your mind should be set towards the kingdom. It shouldn't be um, solely focused on the things, the, the, um, the things that are going on around you, man. All right? The only thing we're supposed to pay, pay attention to that's going on around us is these prophecies. Because these prophecies lead to our salvation. So, hey, without further ado, Lord willing, this is edifying. <clears throat> so, like, and um, I'm just going to get straight into the scriptures, man. All right? It says, uh, 2 Ezra 14 and 13. It says, Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thine people. Comfort such... Uh, comfort such of them as be in trouble and renounce corruption. Okay, so it says, set thy house in order. Who is the Who is the Lord's house, man? Who is the Lord's inheritance? Who is the Lord's dwelling place? Israel, man. All right. So it says, set set thine house in order and reprove thy people, being the Israelites, because the elect, the salvation, uh, so like the salvation is only coming unto Israel. And only to the elect of Israel and the innumerable multitude. Okay? So it says, reprove thy people. Because if you look at the things that's going on, our people are all over the place, man. They're, they're, um, they're digging into these, um, these heathenistic customs. Okay? They're following the ways of the heathens. You know, and, and it says to reprove, these, reprove thy people. Because when we hit the highways and the byways and put up lessons... We don't give a damn about you heathens, man. We only out there for Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the elect of them. You know? We're not out there for no crackers, no Hawaiians, no Africans, no, no damn gooks. We're not out there for no other, no other nation but the nation of Israel, man. All right? So it says, <clears throat> and this is how you know. It says comfort such as them as be in trouble. Our people are in trouble, man. We're in captivity. We are, as let Esau tell her, we are of a third of men. All right, so they look at us like we're not even human, man. Which means they, they'll, they'll do away with a, uh, somebody that they don't, they don't consider human in a, in a heartbeat, man. The hatred is bred in their heart. Our people, we, we don't have our, um, we don't have our full power, man. We lost, we lost that through going off from the Yahweh outside. So we're in trouble, man. Our people are in trouble. They're under curses just like we are, man. Okay? They're dealing with the same tribulations that we deal with. So it says, in comfort such as them as being troubled, uh, in comfort such as them as being troubled. 
And we do that by way of scripture, the Holy Scripture, the Comforter. All right? So it says, and renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. All right? So though we have to deal with all these, these elements of evil, we still have to overcome these things. We still got to come out with the victory, man. So it says, let go from the immortal thoughts. If you're worried about how you can please your woman or how you can take care of your kids more than you're worried about taking care of the house, how about shimmy out with shy? Those mortal thoughts are stuck with you, man. You're full of those mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. This is the time we're supposed to stand up and be men. Show ourselves men. All right? Do the will of the Most High. And set aside. Ain't this, uh, and since put away the weak nature, ain't no time to get emotional neither. This truth ain't ran off of our emotions. This truth <laughs> is ran off of, it, 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 the truth runs off of truth. You know? Crazy, you know, crazy as it sounds, the truth runs off itself, man. It is what it is. All right? It don't, it don't matter how you feel about something, man. This truth is what it is. And if you get emotional about it, then it, this ain't for you. Because the truth ain't going to change for nobody, man. It says, and set aside, <clears throat> and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee that haste to flee from these times. Okay? The times that are coming is the times of peril. It's spoken of in, I believe, this book of Second Timothy. It says, uh, these perilous times shall come. All right, because we're going to be faced with, we're going to be faced with death. We're going to be faced with the plagues too, man. The only ones that are going to escape, according to the book of Job, the fifth chapter, is going to be the ones that trust in the Most High, man. He's going to save them from famine. He's going to save them from the sword. He's going to save them from evil. So, hey, as men of the Lord, man, those that carry the banner of your Habashim on their back, this is for you, man. Those that are doing it sincerely. You know, those that that that, that do it um for vain glory, you know, this ain't for you, man. So this, this, this is just um, a quick admonishment or exhortation or venting, so to speak. All right? Because we almost out of here, man. All right? So, um... Let's see. It says, uh, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen, uh, thou hast seen happen, shall be done hereafter. Because this, it, it tells us in the, um, the book of Matthew, it says, um, it should be like a time never before nor ever shall be. All right? So these are the times that we're coming into. And if you, if you're not with it, Hey, the hell with you, man. You know? Hey, but that, that's all I wanted to get into. So, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. Lord willing, the spirits of the elect are raised up and, and praying to the east for the, uh, for the destruction coming to America, man. Because we're trying to get the hell out of here, get our own kingdom. So call Halayim unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakar Kodash, that were honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Salutations unto the elect Akim. Shalom.